We are more alert, especially this area. Um, it's very easy for Portugal to come and kill a rhino and run away because we are uh, a lot of uh, rhinos are next to the first line. It's very easy for them to get a means of transport. So we usually put a lot of uh, effort or a lot of patrol or deployment within this area. Regarding COVID, uh, still we, we, have a, we are more alert because I think maybe more pushing will be used at this time to come in to push. Well, Pejita Conservancy is the single largest, or is home, to the single largest population of black rhinos uh, in East and Central Africa. Um, black rhinos across Africa number around about 5,500 in total. Um, black rhinos in Kenya reached a low of around about 350 in the late 1980s and have since recovered uh, to around about uh, 800 individuals uh, as of today's date. threat to poaching against rhinos um, is, is always high and that means that any organization that is home to a rhino population has to have a very significant and sophisticated and expensive security system in order to be able to prevent rhinos from being poached and to successfully grow their population. And that is the case with Old Pegeta. We estimate that we spend somewhere in the region of $10,000 per year per rhino uh, to protect them from poaching. So in our case, that comes to close to $2 million a year, which is spent purely on the security that is required to prevent rhinos from being poached. And in the time of COVID, when tourism has completely stopped, um, where 
most of our revenue comes from tourism, the revenue that we need to earn to protect our rhinos comes from tourism, it's a complete disaster. Um, and our ability, our operational capacity, as a result of that lost revenue, which we estimate this year will be something in the region of three to four million dollars, um, is, um, is, is, is severely compromised. Um, and, and, and in turn, therefore, our ability to look after rhinos is compromised. I'm going to